Welcome to one of New York's and fashion's biggest night of the year. Today we find ourselves at the Met Gala in New York City. The city that never sleeps, but for sure today will always be slaying. My name is Andrea Ruiz and today we'll be reviewing all the outfits from our favorite celebrities and more. Today's theme is Carl... How do you say it again? Carl Lark... Today's theme is Cara from uh, from Chanel, you know the guy. I hear one of our favorite celebrities is arriving at the carpet, so I'll be taking it back with you. Right now, she is walking down the red carpet. She is looking amazing. She is looking gorgeous. I am so honored that I get to interview her today. I've been a fan of hers. I think we all have been a fan of hers for a very long time. And yeah, she's arriving right now. Oh my god, Andrea, let me tell you, you look freaking amazing. No, thank you, thank you so much. So Andrea, tell me, how did you capture the Carl Essence today in your dress? Well, of course, we're celebrating today, Carl, so I went with this leather top, uh, you know, Carl Love leather in black. That is amazing. Now, we all know that the Met is for fashion, but it's also for the people in here. Who are you excited to meet inside? Well, I was a little bit nervous coming to my first Met, but then Daniel Ricardo told me that he's coming here and he's a good friend of mine. So when Daniel Ricardo is in the room, you know for sure we're gonna have a good time and have some laughs. So yeah, I'm, I'm good now. I think we can all agree today you are one of the best dressed people in the red carpet. But I must ask you, who did your makeup? Like, it's so incredibly ugly. What? What do you mean? What do you mean? This this makeup took four hours. Yeah, to I don't really know what you were thinking. I feel like, like good. Are you just ready for this? Never? No, I'm sorry. You know what, Andrea? Never mind. I think we we can we we should that, be. Though, like, I Hello everyone, um, I hope you liked the skit that I did at the beginning. I was really debating whether or not to post that because, <laughs> oh my god, it's just, I think I'm getting too comfortable with you guys, <laughs> but yeah, anyway. Let me tell you something about you that I know that you didn't know that I know. I know for a fact that every single person watching this video, don't tell me you haven't pretended in front of a mirror or in your bedroom laying down to put in like some kind of playlist. Pretend that you are some kind of celebrity and you're walking down the carpet and you're being interviewed because that that is a, a universal thing that we can all bond in. But today I decided, you know what? That just won't be my daydream kind of activity. I will go to a random place, not necessarily a bad review, uh, place to get my makeup and my hair for an event. I didn't tell these people I was going to a red carpet because of course they wouldn't believe me. <laughs> I mean, look at me. And But I did tell them that I had an event. So there's gonna be cameras, there's gonna be people, you know, I have to cause an impression here. So yeah. Today, I'm going to a random place, a uh, quote-unquote professional makeup place, to see what can they do with me? How can they fix me today? So without any further ado, I mean, you're already seeing the hair, so there's no point in me seeing this. <laughs> One of the reasons that I chose this makeup salon was because 
when I saw it from the outside, I thought it looked a little bit pricey, but then I was like yellow, so I just went in and asked. And they told me they could do my hair and my makeup for under $20. Bitches, under $20. I don't know about you, but every time I freaking leave the house by myself, I end up spending al almost always more than $20. Because bitches, life is freaking expensive. And this is inflation situation. It's not working. So finding a $20 makeup and hair service, I was like, okay, where's the catch? Now, I know you may be looking at this and going bird nest too, but I think this is kind of a trust the process kind of situation once again, or maybe, maybe not, or it's complicated. <laughs> So the makeup idea that I suggested to her was I needed to be elevated and natural elevated by me but also i'm elevated so i don't know how that would work <laughs> i did tell her that i wanted warm colors it had to be a little bit more out there because i wanted it to show i wanted to look different so yeah basically go crazy with those uh, aspects <laughs>
what's happening. Is that gonna explode and I'm gonna go for it? As soon as you put the pencil into my eyelid, I already knew. Okay, she knows something that other makeup artists don't. I don't know, Is you can just tell the way she is holding the makeup pencil that you just know this is gonna be great. Which is beautiful, once in a while. <laughs> and also her vibe was really nice, like she was making conversation with me, you know? It was just a Saturday and we were chilling, we were hanging out. Unlike other people that I go there, and actually, I don't know why they even work there. Even though she took the warm colors a little bit too literally, I don't mind it. Yeah, it kind of feels like a hot Cheeto inspired kind of makeup, but let me ask you, don't we all like hot Cheetos? I've never tried one, but I bet they're good. They sound good, so <laughs> yeah, the makeup so far, so far I'm like vibing with it. This is not the first time that I've said this in this channel, but but just when they do skincare, it's like heaven to me. It's like a free massage. I mean, not really free because I pay for it. But that's why I love doing these videos most of the time. Because is it just me or it's just beautiful to be touched in the face? <laughs> I don't know if that's a weird thing to say, but yeah. Loki, the cream that she was putting on me kind of smelled like a baby's butt cream but i'll go over it because because <laughs> i actually was enjoying it not gonna lie but then she put the serum which i think it was a good thing but i just feel my pores clogging a little bit but at the same time i think it's an event look it's a heavy look and you need to look out for those pores you don't want those on the pictures you know the you don't want those with Getty images. Mm -mm.
Do I look accordingly appropriate for a Mexican restaurant? Yes.